Hi folks, we're in the kitchen and we're about to make cornbread from corn that we grew in our garden. Here's some kernels of this hickory king corn that we grew this last summer. Now we made the cornmeal in a food processor because we don't have a grain mill and it turned out, let's say, a little bit chunky. I was concerned that we would have too many what I would call teeth breakers. My solution was to soak it for two days. So here's my mix of cornmeal and milk. And this is the cornmeal and milk from the recipe from our family cookbook. I'm gonna take you on a little bit of time travel now and we're gonna go back two days to when we took all of the corn kernels off of the cobs and ground them in our food processor. There's something really satisfying about popping those kernels of corn off. And yes, if I had a sheller, it would make it a lot faster, but I'm only going to get two cups, so this will take me just about five minutes to shell this corn. It's really fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's like you're taking it off a loose tooth. Yeah, it's like pulling loose, loose teeth. How much cornbread would this make, Dad? I don't know. Probably only a tiny bit, right? These kernels are beautiful. There's some purple ones in here, some like pink ones, and then purple ones. Okay, this is gonna be really loud, you guys. You might wanna plug your ears. So now we have a couple cups of what I would call, not coarsely ground, but variably ground. There's some that's really fine, some that's coarse. All right, we're back to today. Let's make some cornbread. You know something a little funny? I meant to take you to the barn for milking this morning, and I took this camera. This is our second camera up here. And Dolly pooped on the milking stand, and this camera got covered in cow poop. So I have pulled the batteries, the lens will stay out, and washed it basically with a wet rag. These cameras are really tough. Fortunately, it was their second camera. The screen is busted. This camera has seen a lot of use. Needless to say, I didn't film milking. Actually, I think I filmed one thing. Yep, that is as far as we got, and then it all ended in a mess. Okay, so we've got our milk and cornmeal mixed together here. I'm gonna shoot this in real time. We're gonna put the rest of it together and show you, with a little bit of prep, how fast this can be. Here's our eggs. Here's a little bit of lemon juice for leavening. Here's our leavening. Here is our oil, and we're gonna mix this together. It's pretty chunky. You can feel those big chunks of corn. Nope, I'm gonna do it. We're doing this for a, um, one shot, so I wanna make it pretty quick. All right, that is mixed. I'm gonna have Grace open the oven for me. I'm gonna reach in here left-handed. I'm gonna grab my hot oil from the oven. Grace, you're gonna grab that camera for me. I'll hold it right here. We still. And this is the best part. We're gonna pour this into our hot oil. And I love to hear it sizzle there. No spatula. And we're gonna put that in the oven for about 25 minutes on 475. Bam, it's done, real time. Pretty fast, huh? What are you doing? I see. Our 
cornbread's done and is it done? It is done. It looks like the cornbread is done. I think this is the, might be the most overdone cornbread I've ever cooked, but it still looks good. It does look yummy. It just doesn't look like any cornbread I've ever made. Apple butter for Grace, jam for Joyful, Justice, and Brighton, and Daddy picked molasses. I love it. I love it too. You like it? You guys are so sweet and positive. Grace, what do you think about it? Not so sure. Brighton, what do you think, buddy? Does it taste good? I know, there's pretty big pieces. It's kind of like a mix between hominy and cornbread. I don't know if you've ever had hominy, but that's kind of what it's like. The flavor is really good. The texture, on the other hand, is a little bit challenging. It's not like it's gonna hurt your teeth. There's just bigger pieces of corn in it. Oh well, not everything can be perfect. And we will eventually get ourselves a grain mill. Maybe by next time we have actually a big crop of corn if we choose to grow a field corn again. Time to put a chicken in the oven. Bree is actually in town at a good friend's birthday party. And so I'm trying to just have supper ready when she gets back. And I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. So I'm roasting a whole chicken. We can actually killed this chicken with our friends last summer. They raised a whole bunch of broilers and we butchered chickens with them. So I know this is gonna be a good one. A little salt and we'll get that salt up inside there. A little pepper. Hmm, I can't remember how hot. Let's go with 400. I sent Grace up to a hickory tree because she wanted some more shells to make little crafts. Grace, those are so pretty. What do you want to do with those? Put them in my windowsill. That's a good idea. You could sell those, people would buy them. I know. <laughs> I'm planning to. Well, you're planning to, good idea. Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> that was your time at the party. It was good. And I got some shea butter so I can make some utter cream for Dolly. You see, it's not butter like you're thinking. <laughs> That'll be good. We've been using olive oil on her udder, which works, but I don't think it's really ideal. G wants to show me something back here. First of all, we, I found some boxwood plants like you were hoping. And second of all, what is that? It's a doghouse. It's an old little doghouse tacked on the back of this woodshed. By the time this video is published tomorrow, we will have rolled over 50,000 subscribers. And that's pretty amazing. You know, I really want to say thank you so much to y'all for supporting us, coming along on our journey, not just for subscribing. And really a lot more significant than 50,000 subscribers is we have 50,000, well, maybe half that, quite engaged subscribers. If you look at channels with 50,000 subscribers, a lot of people are watching our videos and we really appreciate that a lot. It means a lot to us. And so what we have is not just 50,000 subscribers, we have 50,000 strong subscribers. <laughs> Have you been drawing on your face again? Mm -hmm. My earrings. So we're gonna do a question and answer video later this week and we'll post a little video tomorrow um, <laughs> celebrating 50,000 subscribers and asking for questions for the question and answer. So don't post those questions on this video, post them on tomorrow's video. I don't think I would trade what we have for like a network reality TV show or anything, honestly. No. We know friends who've done reality television shows, 
and nothing against them. They had a overall, you know, it was a way to make money for their families, um, but. This is more real. This is more real, and we have complete Creative control. control over what we do within very, very wide parameters set by YouTube. So I guess that's it. That This has been another great day on the homestead. And we always appreciate y'all following along with us. <laughs> We've got some cool plans for this coming year, but we're trying to vet them thoroughly to avoid false starts before we announce them. You love that Nana. <laughs> always multitasking. Mommy is always multitasking. Growing baby, holding baby, <coughs> talking to cameras. <coughs> He's getting a banana. I'm turning the camera off. Okay.